<laughs> hey guys, so this vlog comes from the attic, the loft above our house, obviously. Uh, I came up here on, on sort of a, a job that there was some Christmas stuff still downstairs in the main part of the house. Not that we had it on display, just that we put it all in a room just to put out of the way. And now I'm, I'm putting it in its rightful home up in the attic, which I have done. But while I'm up here I thought I'll have a little look around, see what stuff there is. And as well as there been all this Star Wars paraphernalia behind me, and there's a lot of it. A strange thing caught my eye, a strange object. Or rather a collection of objects caught my eye. So, we're going to delve into this little blue box right here. We're going to explore. Because quite frankly, I've forgotten what's in there. So, we're both going to learn today. Uh, so here we go, we're going to... We're going to pull out this box, I can see right there on top already, is a small Micro Machines Millennium Falcon. Yeah, look at that. Tiny good stuff right there. Next thing that we've got in here, in between these two bits of wood, is... Oh yeah. It is... This may sound strange, it's an early... 1900s slide containing constellations look I'm holding it up against a white background so you can kind of see but right there in the center of the picture a little bit to the right is the constellation of Taurus and if you follow that line down here you can see there the constellation of Gemini I don't know why I've got this Lauren bought me it one Christmas or something like that it's just an awesome bit of coolness that I own. Next up is this funky light. Look at that, you can't truly appreciate it in the light, but when it's dark, this truly is spectacular. Let's see if we can let's see if we can turn the attic lights off so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Here we go. Disco, 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 disco. Yeah, look at the lights up there. It's a rave. Party, disco, disco, disco. Yeah! Moving on. Then right here we have got a map of Jurassic Park. Just like the one that was used on screen. Then if you expand it out fully, you get a full rundown of all the different enclosures in the park where things are. Yeah, as you can see, this this is the uh, the dangerous side of the park over here. Pretty cool. Pretty retro. And then and then there's a plastic eyeball. I'm not sure why there's a plastic eyeball, but we got a plastic eyeball, so that's something. And then right here, we have got a belt buckle, a Superman belt buckle which adorned a belt that I wore for many years I wore it all through my time working at a school and this was awesome I was definitely Superman at that school while I was working there but the belt fell to pieces I love the buckle too much to throw away so it stayed dun, 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 dun. For you Harry Potter connoisseurs out there, we have got a selection of coins from the Harry Potter universe. There we go, so we've got, hold on, let me let me get a good picture, a galleon. Uh, what's, what's the silver one? A sickle. And then, then down there, a knot. A knot? A knot? A little coin. Oh, what next? It's like Christmas Day. We'll go with this. What's this? Ah, I remember what this is. This was a replica of the speech that was meant to be read by the President in the event of a moon disaster. Had Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin ended up trapped on the moon to die. This is the uh, a copy of the speech that would have been read out. I have no idea why I've got this, but just for like 
historical posterity. This is like pretty interesting. You can read the full thing online, just Google it. Luckily though, we didn't have to read it. Next up, we're gonna go with this hand. Look at that. This hand is meant to be for palm reading. So you got all the different lines that, that, that sort of mean things. I have no idea about this, this line of work. But if you're into palm reading, high five. And then in a similar vein, here's a phrenological head, which basically, this is a definite pseudoscience. It tells you all the different parts of where you think about things. The writing's really small, so you can't pick up on it. But, but there's different parts of the brain for like, agreeableness, friendship, love of animals, and possibly my favorite, desire for liquid. Quite an interesting pair of things, I'm sure you'll agree. And then we got, a gyroscope. You guys all know what a gyroscope does, right? You don't need a, a demonstration. But it's a gyroscope. And then, what have we got? Oh yes! Oh yes, this one hasn't aged well. It's the Underwood Underwood 2016 campaign sticker from House of Cards with uh, with Kevin Spacey in it. Let's, let's just move on. And slotted in down the side of the box is a card. A card that I used and created many moons ago when we first started vlogging. We did the Great Pokemon Quiz. I'll put a link for that in the corner and down below in the description. It was a lot of fun. Lauren tried to name Pokemon from the pictures. She didn't have a clue. I'll be honest, I didn't have a clue, but it was good fun. You're still with me guys, there's, there's plenty more to go. Let me try and speed this up a little bit. A fidget spinner, from when fidget spinners were all the rage. A tiny box full of all sorts of little badgers and coins and little bits and pieces of some variety and shape and size. Ah, cassette tape, but not any old cassette tape. This is the Awesome Mix Volume 1 from Guardians of the Galaxy which is a fantastic film with a fantastic soundtrack. A little box here containing some cufflinks with the letters F.U. on it, which is another House of Cards thing, Frank Underwood, who was played by Kevin Spacey, so... You know what, I'm going to defend this show, because it was a good show. I don't care what anyone says, Kevin Spacey was awesome in it, so... Frank Underwood. We're nearing the end of the journey now, guys, with a scroll. And if I unfurl this scroll, you will see that it is a replica of a scroll that Sansa Stark wrote to Rob Stark from Game of Thrones. I used to love this show when it was good. So I thought one day, spontaneously, that I'd make a replica of this scroll. And I'm proud of it. Then right down here in the bottom, I'm not going to take him out because he's going to drop to bits, but it's a skeleton. Yeah. Then I've got a replica of a Stormtrooper's comlink from Star Wars A New Hope. As you can see like here, you can tell that it's made of wood and it looks really sort of chintzy and cheap. But if you go and watch the film, they look exactly the same. Like, cheap and rubbish. So... This is a pretty accurate replica. And then the two last things that I really want to talk about in here is this tin of escalating panic and a tin of a vague sense of unease. These are from the Hoxton Street Monster Supplies in London. Uh, these originally contained like mint flavored sweets, but I just like the idea of um, this tin contained a vague sense of unease. This whole website for it, go on the uh, Hoxton Street Monster Supplies website. Uh, you can have the website in English, you can have it in Zombie, you can have it in Werewolf, all sorts of stuff like that. You know, directions. Adult dose, two to be given once a day, ideally in a darkened chamber. 
Dose for a child, one to be given once a week, preferably on a Sunday. Possible side effects, a specific sense of unease, gnawed nails, lassitude. So there you go, that was all the things that was in the little blue box of wonders. A strange collection of items and trinkets and bits and pieces, I'm sure you'll agree, but pretty cool too, yeah? I think so. So, if you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up and a subscribe if you're not already. And with that being said, I'm going to get gone, so I'll see you guys next time.